Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. I'm Charlotte and today I am going to be reviewing and doing a wear test of a very very hyped foundation that's out at the minute and that is Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. So this is her latest one. I believe that this has replaced the original foundation that she came out with which was just faux filter and I think that was a completely matte foundation whereas this one says luminous matte which I'm not gonna lie <laughs> does confuse me slightly usually you get something which is like dewy luminous or you get matte but apparently somehow it does both <laughs> And I think she's kind of reformulated it and made it without any fragrance because I do remember everyone complaining that the scent was like really, really strong. I myself haven't tried the original, so I can't compare the two. For quite a while now, I haven't been a fan of wearing a matte foundation. I kind of have more on the dry skin side. I, I did used to be very oily, so I did used to use a lot of matte products, but over the past couple of years my skin gone more maybe like combination dry so i i do get like you know the normal little bit of oil sometimes like through my t-zone i think most people get that but for the most part i've needed products more on the hydrating side so i thought this would be perfect because it's luminous apparently so before we get started let me just go through the claims because there's quite a few of them. So it says, the true filter effect gives instant coverage so seamless that it immediately unifies skin tone and texture as it blurs skin to give a radiant finish. The non cakey formula is life proof, waterproof, super long wear, 24 hour transfer proof, fade proof, sweat proof, humidity proof. So essentially this foundation is your new BFF. No matter what the weather, occasion or situation, Faux Filter Luminous Matte will never, never let you down. So we have 24 hour wear, waterproof, smudge proof, sweat proof, humidity proof, transfer proof, mask proof, life proof, Dubai proof. I believe that she lives in Dubai, so maybe that's why she says that. And I'm guessing it's very hot compared to the UK. Pool party proof, fragrance free, non-drying, comfortable wear, formulated for all skin types and non-comedogenic, I don't know how you say it, but essentially it won't go and clog your pores. And this retails at 34 pounds in the UK or I think it's $40 US. So it's quite a, a hefty price. price. That's not usually how much I would spend or how much I would like to spend on a foundation, but if it's amazing, then, you know, I am happy to invest. So I have the shade 310G Amaretti. So I believe this is a golden shade. I have a bit of fake tan on at the minute. I don't know if you can tell, I've kind of done little bit of a bad job on my hands but let's just not go there um as i said that it was golden i found my shade by doing i'll link the website down below i think it's called foundation so you just type in the shades that you've worn other foundations and then it just brings up the the best one for you oh, i can't even open this there we go <laughs> so this is what the packaging looks like i mean yeah it looks fancy feels fancy. It actually doesn't feel as heavy as what I thought it was going to interest. I'm hoping this shade is going to be <laughs> okay. We'll just try and make it work somehow. So. Oh, I'm going to make it get itself. Oh, okay. Is that not how you get it? Okay, cool. It's a pump. We like a pump. I don't know whether I'm meant to give this a shake. I do that with quite a lot of my foundations, so we'll just, we'll do this anyway. So I've already prepped my skin and primed. Let's get this hair out of the way. So I have decided, not only am I gonna do a wear test, I, this could be crazy, but I am going to wear this for 24 hours. I know, am I okay? I don't know if I am. But I thought uh, to say it's 24 hour wear is quite a claim. And basically who's gonna dispute it because who would wear their foundation for 24 hours? Well, do you know who would? <laughs> I just wanna see if it is actually gonna last 24 hours, so. Taking like one pump, it says to take one to two pumps. I 
I'm gonna use this carefully. I'm not much of a full coverage girl, not anymore, but I was in my 20s. In my 30s, I do like a lighter coverage. I'm gonna try and do like a medium coverage because I still want it to be wearable. That's quite thick. Let me just give this a test of it. Okay, that could be a decent match. Yeah, no scent to it whatsoever. Okay, I'm just gonna try this amount. Um, I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender because that's how I generally like to put on my base. Okay, it's not the easiest to blend. It's kind of like where I'm patting it in, that's just where it's staying. The color match is nicer. Okay, so I've done the one side of my face and obviously this is the side with nothing on. I mean, the yeah, the color match is really nice, I think. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but in person, it looks really good. It's golden, but it's not too warm. And I'm glad to say at the minute anyway, it hasn't oxidized or dried down to a different color. And yeah, I mean, actually that's like, it's decent coverage, but I can still kind of see a couple of little like old blemishes, like scars that I've had. So it's not, because I was worried that it was gonna be quite full coverage to the point where like you can't see any of your skin through. Because I do like to see a little bit of skin. I feel like it just helps to look a bit more natural. But it wasn't the easiest to blend. I don't know whether it's just, maybe it's not good to use with a beauty blender. Maybe a brush would be better. I just want to try it how I would normally do my makeup. But yeah, it was quite an effort to try. It would just seem like it was drying quite fast. So I don't know, maybe just go with like small sections at a time. It's looking okay. It's, it is... To me, there is no luminosity to it. That is just matte. Uh, at the, I mean, at the moment, it's looking fine. Because yeah, I've used quite hydrating skincare stuff underneath. But I don't know whether later on or in the next 24 hours, I feel like it might start highlighting any dry areas that I have. So let's do the other side of thy face. Okay, so that is it with both sides done. Yeah, I mean, I am I'm, I'm liking that it's that it doesn't look cakey. It hasn't like settled into any lines yet. And uh, yeah, I can still see like a couple of old scars and stuff through it. Um, I've still got that was from the one pump. I've still got a decent amount left. I might just have a look to test the coverage. I want to see how it covers my tattoo that's what it looks like so i mean it's pretty much covered a lot of it you can you can still see it poking through i'm trying to do it there's a at an angle you can kind of see it poking through but like that's that was a pretty dark tattoo okay so those are my first initial impressions i am just gonna pop off camera put the rest of my face on and then i will come back and let you know my thoughts once I've got everything else on. Okay, so that is my full face done. Just a very basic, natural makeup look. I have to say, <laughs> I wasn't able to use my usual products. I usually use Fenty Cream Bronzer and Cream Blush. I usually use a liquid highlighter. I don't know whether this is just me, maybe the way that I apply my products, but the cream on top just didn't work for me. It just started removing the foundation underneath and I had to basically start again and use just all powder products, which isn't generally how I would do my makeup. Like I said, I prefer to use slightly more luminous dewy stuff just because my skin does get quite dry. When I look in the mirror up close, I can see bits of like dry skin where it's like fully dried down now. Yeah, to me, there is no luminosity at all. I'm not quite sure where she thinks the luminosity is coming from. Like I've tried to add a powder highlight. I do think if you have oily skin, this probably would be for you because it doesn't, like you can you can feel that you have foundation on, don't get me wrong, there's, you know, it's quite thick, but it doesn't feel the heaviest that I've ever used if that makes sense. Like I've used other foundations. I think uh, they might be like a Pure Minerals one, like the four in one, and that that felt like super, super heavy. But yeah, if you do have oily skin and you want a foundation which is matte, it's got 
like a decent medium to full coverage but doesn't feel too heavy this is definitely gonna be a good one for you but yeah i mean apart from that i do feel like i look flawless but yeah i mean i'm i'm kind of i'm half out i'm gonna see how it wears i think maybe give it a few hours i do have some things to do i've got some working out to do and some editing to do so definitely after the working out hopefully some natural oil will come through and i think that might help it not be so dry feeling on me. So yeah, I am gonna carry on with my day. I might do one or two check-ins throughout the day just to show you if there's any significant stuff happening. The next time I will be sat by here, it will be 24 hours. So it's currently 11.55, Wednesday, March 24th. So I will see you right by here for the 24 hour check-in. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I think so. Okay, so I just want to do a check-in. It is currently... I don't have a clock on me. Can you hear my cat as well? Um, I don't currently have a clock on me, but I think it's just gone six. And yeah, I have just finished up for the day. I have done a load of editing and I've just done a back uh, strength workout. So it's been a full day. And this is what my face is looking like. It's really holding up well. So I haven't touched anything up apart from a bit of lip gloss after I had my lunch, which I've got, I think my cat's fur attached to my lip. <laughs> but I haven't put any powder or like anything else on my base makeup. So this is it. I think some of my natural oils are starting to come through and I do like the look of it better now. It's still quite matte for me, but now that my natural oils are starting to come through, it doesn't look quite as flat dry. And yeah, I mean, so far I don't think there's any wear coming off. Everything still looks like it's in place. And I even hugged Joe, my husband. And usually I do end up transferring some of whatever makeup I've got on onto his t-shirts, but not today. So it might actually be transfer or smudge proof, whichever one it was. But yeah, that is my check-in for today. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else now. And wish me luck. <laughs> sleeping in this foundation I hope that I am not gonna F up my skin but yeah I will see you for the 24 hour check-in tomorrow okay guys it is now been 24 hours I will show you so it is 11 59 Thursday 25th of March I have to check because I honestly can't even keep track anymore of what day it is so yeah so like I said yesterday I pretty much done my full face and had everything on at like quarter to so this is 24 hours and I mean Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. I have some thoughts so did it last the night this is my pillow I don't know, I'm hoping you could see that. If you can't, it honestly looks like my face humps the pillow. And I don't think I'm that rough a sleeper. I just, I feel like I sleep normally. <laughs> I don't think I do anything different. But yeah, I have to say, I think it was like nine o'clock last night. I'm not ashamed to say that I was in bed by nine o'clock. I was in bed before nine o'clock. Bed is my favorite thing. So yeah, I was in bed by nine and I had brushed my teeth. Immediately from brushing my teeth, this bit by here where some water dripped down, just completely, it was done. It was like, bye bitch, I'm gone. And I don't know why, but that seemed to act as a catalyst for the rest of my face to suddenly say, if the chin ain't saying, we ain't saying. So at like nine o'clock, I suddenly started to notice that I was getting quite a lot of like patches where it was coming off. And it wasn't even from, well, I don't think it was from me touching. I don't think I was touching my face. It just seemed to be going just like disintegrating but I thought I'll I'll persevere I'll just leave it on and see what 
happens and it has ended up all over my pillow. Now I fake tan on a regular basis and even my fake tan doesn't cause that amount of staining. So that, that's quite, that's quite a lot of transfer I have to say for something that says is transfer proof. It really isn't. So yeah, I mean, I haven't washed my face as yet. I have to say I am dying to wash my face. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm running to that bathroom. <laughs> I am completely double cleansing my face. So, I mean, the conclusion is no, it does not last 24 hours. I know you could say, well, you, it wasn't designed to sleep in, but I'm sorry, who's gonna actually stay awake for 24 hours? If you do that, I am part inspired. I'm part terrified of you, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't even think I need to do a zoom in. It's just, it's gone. I feel like I look like the beginning part of the video before I put on any foundation yesterday. Saying that though, I have to say, after initially putting it on, I did feel like my face looked flawless. It did look, for me, very matte. Obviously, if you're someone who's got an oilier skin, maybe this would look more on the luminous side for you. But after about six hours, was where I started to see some of my natural oils coming through and then I thought actually this looks really good I do really like this and then it was like three hours after that then when it all kind of started to go a bit downhill so yeah for me it was about an nine hours was probably the maximum that I could wear this for so who does that 24 hour claim no, no, no. and I just want to put this disclaimer out there that I do not recommend anyone leaves their makeup on for 24 hours it is not enjoyable it is not clever it is not fun but yeah that is my review and 24 hour wear test done I am so looking forward to wash my face now I'm so sorry that I did this to you I promise I will never never do anything like this to you again I'm gonna treat you right I hope you have enjoyed coming along this wild ride with me. If you enjoyed this review and wear test, then just give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe and join the family and turn on your notification bells so that you can watch more videos of mine. I am very, very excited for the next review I'm gonna do. Fenty. So I really just like bashed that table then. That is how excited I am. Fenty have come out with a new foundation and is a skin Tin. I feel like this is right up my street and it's coming out tomorrow so I'm gonna stay up until midnight tonight and I'm gonna order mine straight away because that is how excited I am. Keep your eyes peeled for that review. I will try and get that up as soon as possible literally as soon as it arrives at my door. It is going all over my face. <laughs> yeah thank you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye!